So recently there's been reports regarding a new Apple TV launching that's going to be a cheaper variant, but German now completely goes against that and instead tells us that no, this is going to be replacing the 4K version we have now, so let's delve into it. So yes, Minchi Kuo was the first one to tell us we could see a new Apple TV in the works and he made it clear this was going to be a cheaper variant. Essentially, Apple wants to boost their services and so getting more consumers to use Apple TVs and tvOS is obviously going to help those consumers subscribe to Apple TV+. Plus. So yes, Apple was apparently readjusting the cost infrastructure for this new Apple TV to make it a lower cost device and this did excite me to be honest. You see, I'm aware the Apple TV has a lot of features and is very advanced compared to other rivals, but it's also very expensive. And for those who want the basics, I think Apple should offer a system that gives you that. And so I was hoping this might be a stick that starts at $99 and does not give you any of the gaming aspects or maybe the color calibration tech, but just the basics of tvOS and allowing you to stream content and also giving you the benefits of the ecosystem like AirPlay. And yes, as someone who cannot justify paying £150 for the actual box, this would have been perfect. But now German comes in and gives us his thoughts and it's all very confusing because he believes the new Apple TV we could see launch could get the A14 chip and also 4 gigs of RAM. Now I doubt a cheaper variant is going to get better specs and so this clearly is going to replace the existing 4K version. Now this is interesting because Apple rarely updates the Apple TV nowadays. In fact, the last refresh before the 2021 refresh was back in 2017, I believe. And so I was under the assumption the A12 version we got pretty recently was going to stay in the lineup for some time, but apparently that's not going to be the case. And yes, German makes it clear the chip upgrades is because of the additional gaming aspects we could see with tvOS 16. So yeah, this is clearly an update to the 4K version and not a cheaper variant. Now I do want to speculate that I don't think Apple's updating the 4K model because of the additional gaming aspects. I doubt many TV users game on the Apple TV in the first place. I think the main reason is because of the chip shortage. Since you might remember, Tim did tell us older nodes were massively affected and the A12 chip is relatively old, so maybe they're having supply constraints. And so to ease that, they're using the A14 instead. And also do remember the iPhone 12 series and also the upcoming base iPads also will use this chip. And so having the same chip across these three devices is obviously going to massively help Apple's supply chain. However, what's interesting is that found in iOS 16 beta, there has been references to a new Siri remote, and I'm not sure what they're going to change with that because the last version was a massive refresh and many say it's perfect as is. And so what can they add to that? Like what I was expecting was a simple chip refresh to the existing design, but this does seem to suggest that we could see some changes with the actual design of the remote. Now in the past, I speculated that this could be a cheaper variant of the remote for the cheaper Apple TV, since the remote we have right now retails for $60, and so Apple selling that with a $100 dongle would not make sense, and so releasing a cheaper smaller remote to go alongside the dongle could be something Apple does. But now since we're not getting a cheap Apple TV, I'm not too sure. Now there is a possibility the 4K A12 Apple TV we have now becomes the cheaper variant and replaces the aging Apple TV HD. However, as that model goes down in price, maybe Apple gives that a cheaper version of the remote to make it inferior to this A14 version and upsell consumers. And yeah, actually I could see that happening because the Apple TV HD did get new remotes. And so for Apple to downgrade the remote with the A12 Apple TV as it gets a lower price could be something Apple does. Since without a cheaper remote, these devices are going to be very similar for the most part, since many are not going to notice the upgrades with the A14 chip. 
So yeah, I guess we're kinda getting a cheaper Apple TV, but it's gonna be based on the existing 4K model. And I'm praying that Apple can somehow make this $99. They're considering the fact the very, very, very poor Apple TV HD retails for I believe £139 here in the UK, this definitely won't be $99. It's most likely gonna be above that. But to get a respectable Apple TV at that price point is an upgrade, I guess. However, I just thought of a rebuttal point, which is, I mentioned the A14 could be in the new Apple TV for supply reasons, and so if the A12 model's harder to produce, Apple surely would kill that off, right? Well, yes, that is very true, but then again, I'm sure it's much harder to produce the aging Apple TV HD with the A8 chip that I don't think any product has right now, so yes, Getting rid of that is the first priority for Apple and that price point needs to be filled with another Apple TV so that's why I think they might keep around the A12 version. And by the way, in case you're wondering, the codename for this new Apple TV should be J255 and as for the release dates, I'm assuming it should release alongside the iPhone 14 series since I believe the 2017 Apple TV refresh was released alongside the iPhone 10 and 8 series. Anyways, time to hear your thoughts regarding Apple TV rumors. So we have Brennar saying, imagine if they offered Apple TV with M1 Pro slash Max chips, plus custom controllers. Now this actually has been a rumor for some time because Apple is starting to give gaming more of a focus with their devices, especially with Max getting Apple Silicon, so porting those games over to a device like the Apple TV could make sense, since this is a device connected to your TV, so gaming on this would be pretty convenient. And so yes, maybe in the future we could see an Apple TV Pro launch with an M1 Pro or M1 Max chip, and also custom controllers. In fact, that's been another rumor for a while. We've heard a lot about a controller in the works, and I guess there is a chance that the Siri remote that's been referenced in iOS could actually be referring to a new gaming controller we could see Apple launch for the Apple TV refresh. And yeah, adding on to this, Majora says, if Apple Arcade can get some really good exclusive games, the Apple TV might have a place as a very affordable gaming console. And yes, I completely agree with this. Apple should focus on getting some good titles for Apple Arcades, and as soon as they can hook consumers to these games, they will be buying many Apple TVs. Anyways, tell me in the comments below guys, what's your thoughts on this new report? Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video above on my thoughts regarding the base MacBook Pro and on that note, see ya peeps.